I don't get the big deal. There's guns in my video games. Real guns aren't the same as the ones in your video game, Gary. Yeah, but... It's not the same. I grew up in the 90s and was no stranger to PSAs. Don't do drugs. Don't talk to strangers. Don't play with fire. Just, just don't do anything. Just stay in the closet and never leave your house. That way you will always be safe and no harm can ever come to you. Oh, God damn it. There's a gun up here. Gun safety videos are a thing and the most infamous belong to Eddie Eagle. It's his job to teach children to avoid guns and to tell adults if they ever find one. Heck, they even made a song about it. Stop, don't touch, leave the area, tell an adult. Yeah, stop, don't touch, leave the area, tell an adult. These PSAs are quite controversial though, and many argue that they aren't effective at all. Also, these cartoons are corny as hell. Next time, I'll remember, and look great doing it. Like a true fashionista. Hey! <laughs> Let's check him out. Eddie the Eagle is a mascot of the NRA, and as far as I know, only two episodes of the cartoon exist. One back in the early 90s, and another in 2015. Though technically there are two versions of the 90s cartoon, but they're practically the same. According to sources, Eddie was created by Marion Hammer of the NRA. She wanted a program to educate children about gun safety, and how they should avoid firearms around the house. But outside of Marion, I have no no idea who worked on these cartoons. There are zero credits listed on either videos of the NRA's uploads. No mention of animators, studios, directors, nothing. I mean, it's possible that the people involved didn't want their names on the project in order to avoid political association. Instead, they just wanted to get paid and that's it. And honestly, I don't blame them. I mean, who would want this on their resume? Wow. <laughs> hey, look at that! All right, so let's go over the episodes. As I mentioned before, there are technically two versions of the one from the 90s. There's one that is narrated by a lady who is reading a story from a book. The other version removes the lady and is replaced with, uh, <laughs> Jason Priestley from 90210. Ah, hello there. You got me just about to preview our new Eagle Eyes safety show. Jeez, man, how much did the NRA pay you for this shout out? Personally, I prefer the version without Jason, so let's watch that one. By the way, this is the best quality I could find of the video, and it's on the NRA's YouTube account, so uh, yeah. Way to keep standards high, guys. Also, the voice of Eddie is Cam Clark, AKA Leonardo from Team NT. How come they always see UFOs in small towns like this? Never in Times Square. Like I said before, it starts off with a children's book and a lady telling us about Eddie Eagle. Long John Eagle likes lakes and pools and teaches water safety rules. Amelia Eagle swoops in to say playing with fire is never okay. But many say the friendliest bird, the smartest too I've always heard, is Eddie Eagle, the brave and true, whose safety rule is just for you. We learn about Eddie and how he flies around looking out for trouble. Eddie cares so much about you, he flies around town and the country too, watching for danger low and high to help you with his eagle eyes. Talk about a breach of privacy. Eddie then pulls out his high tech cell phone and talks to the chief. Yeah, Eddie, it's the chief. What's up? What? Oh, what's going on here? This guy looks like the captain from SpongeBob SquarePants. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, captain! This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> How am I supposed to take gun safety seriously with this guy talking to me? What happened? All right, so Eddie tells the chief how he was stalking through the neighborhood and saw some kids playing in the attic. I was making my rounds in the countryside when through the open window of an attic, I spied five or six kids looking all around. But, oh no, Eddie saw a gun and jumped into action. I didn't wait. I knew what to do. <laughs> 
I met an eagle, and I like it too much. To see you get hurt, and that's why I say, if you spot a gun, just walk away. I don't know about you guys, but I would be much more scared of the giant talking eagle that just broke into my house. As a matter of fact, that gun might come in handy. Shoot him! So we get to hear Eddie's infamous song about gun safety. Yeah, stop! Don't touch! Leave the area! Tell an adult! Do it with me now! Stop! Don't touch! Leave the area! Tell an adult! Oh, that's my rifle from World War II. I killed 50 Nazis with that gun. I killed 50 men. The kids told their grandma, and I knew my work was done. Now they know what to do if they see a gun. Sounds like you got there in the nick of time. Is there more? <laughs> Seriously, I can't get over how ridiculous this guy looks. Why didn't they have an actual cop or fully animate this guy? Way to go, Eddie! Eddie then tells another story of how he broke into another house. I stopped to get a cone and then settled into phone when I heard a funny sound and I quickly turned around. I know I saw a present, said Josh to Jill. Where'd your mom put it? Asked their friend Phil. They opened up a closet and their eyes did spy a big blue box on a shelf up high. There's a gun up here. There's a gun up here. Really though, these are some bad parents just leaving their guns around the house. The kids found their father and told him what they found. And I knew I could leave because they were safe and sound. Two in one day, Eddie. You must be exhausted. <laughs> I'm walking here. Eddie then sees some other kids playing and decides to stalk them too. And that's the end of the cartoon. If you see a gun, stop. Don't touch. Leave the area. Tell an adult. Wow. But it's a lucky thing. I had my pieces. Your pieces? My gun. Oh. All right, so that's the first cartoon, and it was apparently shown to schools across the U.S. But in 2015, Eddie got an update and was now in glorious CGI. It starts off with, <laughs> with what I can only describe as a basketball hoop that is made out of shit. Yes, the eagle has landed. <laughs> I honestly don't understand why it looks like this. We then meet Eddie Jr. and his friends as they sing a song about their group, the Wing Team. Tell me, Eddie, how do you play? Will mommy get in the way? The ball is orange, why is that? Will I need a glove helmet or bat? <laughs> you ask a lot of questions. Oh my God, it's a kid voice actor and they can't sing. How about you, Maya? My wing team is so fun. Well, you know safety is rule. No middle, ooh, no. I play ball with me, some egos, but I'm pretty good, so watch your egos. I'm gonna be real. The character designs aren't that bad. What did you think I was gonna ask you? To clean your house? No. To bake a cake? To play basketball. That's what I said. And I'm way too busy. Yeah, you know, we gotta count ourselves lucky, though. At least the characters aren't rapping. Got serious game, got epic thrills. Just one dead level with my awesome skills. If I could be on your wing team. Well, hold up. Is is that ball egg shaped? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It's just gonna bounce all over the court in different directions. But don't forget, folks, this video is about gun safety. So it was only a matter of time before this happened. Hey, what's this? Um, are you gonna throw it or not? Did you leave a backpack over here? <gasps> I thought it was yours. Mine has ice cream stains on it. Oh, good point. <gasps> a a gun. gun. I dare you to touch it. Touch what? <gasps> oh, my. There's a gun up here. It looks just like the ones on TV. And in my video. Stop. Don't touch. Run away, tell a grown-up, stop, don't touch. And there it is, practically the same song from the 90s. Everybody out there needs to listen to me. This is serious if you see a gun, leave it be. Oh my 
my god, this kid cannot sing. Finding a gun is a dangerous situation. Goodness me. Oh, honey, you- wait, you found a gun? Mr. Eagle, I sure was scared. I did not know what to do. Okay, uh, <laughs> don't, uh, don't touch me. So we go back to Eddie's house and we get a lesson from Officer McBird about gun safety. I love how the officer then scolds the hell out of this goose. I don't get the big deal. There's guns in my video games. Real guns aren't the same as the ones in your video game, Gary. Yeah, but... It's not the same. It's not the same, you f nerd. My mom always told me that I should never touch a gun if I find one. I'm sorry I forgot that lesson today. But next time, you'll remember. Or else. Next time, I'll remember. And look great doing it. Like a true fashionista. Hey! <laughs> Ah, uh, give me the gun. And to wrap things up, they sing the song one more time. Eddie? Stop, don't touch, run away, tell the crone of- Stop, don't touch, run away, tell a grown up. If you spot gun trouble, then on the double, just run the other way. It doesn't take much, just stop, don't touch, and you will save the day. You guys all think I'm a hero, and I'll accept that responsibility. Thank God I went down to Gunther's Guns and picked up a spare. I don't think one would have done it. I'm gonna go out and buy some more. So yeah, that's Eddie Eagle and the NRA gun safety cartoons. Like I said before, I have no idea who made these cartoons, but it was definitely paid by the NRA and is actually up on their YouTube channel. There's controversy surrounding the cartoons though and how they aren't effective. Apparently, there was some study back in the day where these cartoons were shown to kids. The kids said that they understood what was being said to them, but when given the opportunity to play with fake guns, actually went for it. So. So yeah, the cartoons weren't very effective. Also, there's this thing about how the videos are about avoiding guns instead of parents locking away their guns. How there should be more strict gun safety laws instead of just relying on kids to avoid firearms altogether. Personally, I don't find the cartoons to be bad. If some kid actually remembers Eddie's song and leaves a gun alone, then cool. Mission accomplished. But from the sounds of it, the cartoons aren't really effective. But that tends to be the case for most PSA mascots. Remember the dare lion? Did you enjoy your cruise on the world as your oyster? I sure did, Captain. It was great. I played games, visited all the continents, helped save the environment, and I even became a Six Sigma world ambassador. I'm glad you had a good time. In fact, we're all very happy to have you and Dad join us at Lucky Cat TV. Why does this cat sound like Fat Albert? And why does the lion have a deep, sexy voice? The only thing you're going to accomplish is providing fuel for furry artists. I mean, he is a handsome lion. Well, that's what D.A.R.E. is all about. Like how to resist drugs and violence and react to bullying or any other threat. As far as the quality of the actual Eddie Eagle cartoons go, they aren't that bad. The purpose of them are kind of cringy, but I've seen worse. All in Although, it just seems that these characters and cartoons aren't that effective. But hey, they did accomplish one thing though. They gave us Officer Chief. And at the end of the day, that's all we really need. Way to go, Eddie! Sounds like you got there in the nick of time. Is there more? So you don't give a shit about the gun issue at all? Uh, uh, I mean, what the hell? You're like the NRA. Yeah, a little bit like the NRA. A little tiny bit. But I, I think of myself more like Al Gore. You know, he got everybody worked up over global warming. Then he made millions. Huh? Hey folks, thanks again for watching this video. Also, thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. If you want, you can go check out my Patreon down in the description. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.